Got it. Go. Oh. Fucking touchdown. Defense trash. No offense for offense. Nihau YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today, we'll be talking about football, and no, not the one for wimps. What is American football like in China? As many NFL pundits and network executives are trying to figure out why there's a big drop in viewership in the NFL, whether that number be 12% or 8% or whatever it is, the sport is only growing in popularity in China. Besides a natural interest in things outside of your own country, the NFL has been promoting the sport very well in China. Many players have come over and hosted camps for kids, including Russell Wilson and Tom Brady. All the league really has to do now is host a game in China so that people can watch the sport up close. Another barrier that the NFL will undoubtedly face is that of language and culture. Soccer, the other football, is very easy to understand. You kick a ball into a goal, and there's sometimes penalties. Football is very different from this. This past weekend, I got to visit the Shanghai Nighthawks practice center at Luan Stadium. They are the longest running American football team in China, a team that takes the game very seriously. In addition to having a translator on the field, they have many foreign experts and even a foreign coach to help them. Even though China does not have a national football league, the Shanghai Nighthawks travel across the country and face other provinces. No one could ask, if you just want the best football team, why not pack it with a bunch of foreigners? There's plenty here in Shanghai. The league the Shanghai Nighthawks belong to have a rule that states only five foreigners can be on the field during a single play. That means your roster could be half foreign, but only five of those players can be on the field. This makes it fair and makes it actually Chinese football with Chinese players learning the game. Despite the complex plays and rules, the Shanghai Nighthawks have won their first game of the season. And this Saturday, they take on Hefei. Another barrier to promoting the game the NFL will face is scrutiny from both countries. Most Americans know by now that the NFL has a complicated relationship with brain injuries. The NFL recently hired a team of doctors to do a full study on players and they found that only one player out of the study did not show signs of brain injury. If the NFL wants to survive in America and be a huge market in China, the league is going to have to figure out this issue. They have implemented such programs for youth football such as Heads Up, which encourages players to tackle with their head up and not lead with their helmet. It was nice to see that the Shanghai Nighthawks were implementing this and even practicing hitting drills with their heads up. So, it ain't, it ain't this. You want to come up here. You guys understand? Your head gotta be up. Put your head up, put your head up. Despite this, I still believe that many parents in China would be worried about their kids playing football, especially because most people still only have one child. They would much rather see that child succeed in something like badminton, ping pong, or swimming, something that doesn't have to cause them bodily harm almost every time they play the sport. As the NFL's favor continues to come into question in the United States, could China possibly be the country to continue the sport? While I think it's too early to tell, Perhaps China could create its own league and have some rule changes to the sport that would protect players. I'd like to thank the Shanghai Nighthawks for inviting me to their practice. It was very fun to see them play, and hopefully they'll beat Hefei come this weekend. If you'd like to know more about the team, I'll leave their Facebook page and information below.
Another barrier that the end. Oh, you fucked up. Oh, dude, don't do that. I keep rolling.